Story time. It is story, story, story time. Yippee! It's time for a new story. Everyone's ready. One, two, three. Calm owns a lamp. At night, it helps calm around the house. But with the arrival of electricity in Calm's village, will the lamp be forgotten? Title of the story: Calm's precious little lamp. Original story by Fuang Thana Fetsa Wong. Illustrated by Alina. Translated by Shannon David. Published by Room to Read. Narrated by Asavari Doshi. For more interesting stories, visit our website www.booksthatspeak.com. Let's look at the lamp. Kam lives in a farmhouse on the edge of a field. When darkness falls, he lights his bright little lamp to catch frogs and to fish in the river. Every night, he reads a book by the light of his little lamp. Before he goes to bed, he puts out the lamp. Kam lights his little lamp. It is precious to him. One day, electricity reaches Kam's village. Electricity turns night into day. Kam's little lamp lies forgotten in the corner. The little lamp misses the nights when Kam would light her and she would help him to do his work. She remembers the happy nights when Kam and she used to catch frogs, go fishing and read books together. One night, Kam's village is caught in a thunderstorm with heavy rain. The power goes out. Kam begins to look for his little lamp. When he finds her, Kam smiles and whispers, You are my bright light. He sits down to read his book by the light of his little lamp, just like old times. When it's time for Kam to go to bed, he puts out the lamp and sleeps peacefully. The little lamp is happy to be needed again. She sleeps peacefully too, smiling in the darkness. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.booksthatspeak.com Eruwa wee! Eruwa wee!